In this class, uh, we will learn two important concepts. The first is how to implement movement uh, in the game. And the second is how to simplify a complex uh, system. Uh, in order to implement the movement, uh, we introduce a draw function uh, called draw function. And to simplify uh, programming, we introduce class. Class is very important concept in uh, object-oriented programming. First, draw is a function provided by the system um, processing 3.0. Uh, the function, this function is executed 60 times per second. Uh, you can change the uh, how many times it executed. The system function we know of setup is executed only once. Uh, the first time the program is e programming is executed. Uh, movement is realized by erasing the screen every 60, 60 of a second and painting again. Let's look at uh, this program here. Uh, draw function is a circle. Uh, draw this here. The draw function draw a circle every uh, 60 of a second. By the way, the x coordinate is x coordinate is updated uh, every time at the location of a circle. Thus, the circle is appear to be moving. Let's try. Um, it takes some time. So, circle is uh, moving. Um, however, the trace of a circle is uh, remains. This is because the circle is overwritten, overwritten and drawn uh, on the circle, previous circles. Uh, to get rid of this trace, apply background every time to clear the entire screen. Uh, you just need to draw a new picture on it. Let's try this program. Now circle uh, will move neatly. Very simple, but you can implement uh, movement. Uh, in this program, draw call a function move and uh, the move in the move function sine and cosine functions are used to calculate uh, location of uh, location on the large circle here we will have a large circle like this and uh, uh, we will calculate the location of this small circle uh, every time and then it looks like uh, a small circle is rotating, spins around the, a large circle. Uh, this is another example. Uh, we will uh, move a small circle diagonally. And then in that case, we use a two function, move function and the display function. In the move function, it changes the location of uh, uh, a small circle, and in the display function, uh, it draw the circle, new circle, uh, at the updated location. Let's look at this one. Okay. Can you uh, move your character? Yes, you can. Um, in the program I gave you, uh, you have a power 5 swell. 
In this case, uh, there are three pandas, and uh, the location of a panda is x1, y1, x2, y2, and x3, y3, respectively. And uh, this location of a panda is uh, updated by using velocity vector v1x, vyx, and v2. Uh, Vx2, Vy2, every draw. Uh, then also we can update scale too by using uh, ds value, ds1, ds2, ds3 values. Let's look at the, this one. Uh, then it looks like this. Okay. Okay. And each panda needs six variables uh, to implement this. So 18 variables are uh, needed to implement uh, three, three pandas. So it is too uh, complicated. So the program look like, looks too complex. So it repeats something simple uh, three times. So can this be a bit simpler? So the concept uh, introduced is class. In class, variables that are commonly used are grouped and uh, uh, operated as a single bundle. Here we have bundles of six values for each uh, panda and the various complex variables are hidden uh, what makes them in bundle is called encapsulation encapsulation uh, in technical terms that means putting many things in one capsule all variables are hidden inside the capsule. Class is a frame or a machine to make uh, bread. So this is a bread baker and this is a bread. Uh, if, a, if the class is called uh, bread making machine, the bread that comes out of out of that machine is called object. Uh, when we say a uh, float x y, uh, float is a variable type and x y are variables. You can say float is a class and x y is a object. Here, on the left. The concept of uh, a class is not used yet, and on the right, the concept of class is used. The program on the right is much uh, easier to read. You can see uh, there are three pandas, and three pandas are updated and displayed again in every uh, 60 uh, of a second. All 18 variables are, uh, of three partners are hidden. Also, action, actions commonly uh, performed by pandas are hidden. Just we see the name of the um, actions. And here, whole scenario is uh, unfolded uh, with only bread. The bread making machine is implemented in a class called panda here. In processing, uh, it looks like a, a, it, they call this one a tab. You can write the class information in new uh, window uh, as saying uh, tab. Click here uh, to open the panda tab window. Uh, this is Panda tab, it includes class panda. 
Honda is, uh, class is a uh, Baker machine. Uh, the class Panda is divided into three parts constructor and member variables and member functions. A constructor is a function that determines the initial values when an object of a class is first created. The constructor fun a uh, constructor function name panda is the same as the class name member data here you have a six member data are uh, variables used in the class uh, these six variables are hidden also uh, member function is a function commonly uh, implemented in pandas here Update function serves to change the variable, the location variable, and the size variable every time. And the function display is a function that draw a panda, panda according to change the updated variables. Uh, let's look at another example of using classes. Um, each object in this case uh, made of four circles in common. However, the location and size and the color are different. They are member data that can be initially initially uh, set in the in the constructor. So constructor, these two value is uh, the initial location and this value is radius and this is color of the circle so initially we can set this one when calling a function belong to a class after object name um, we need to put dot here in order to use a display function of b1 we need to to start here. Class is useful in order to encapsulate uh, many variables and also functions. In other words, classes are not only needed when moving object. In this case, these objects are not moving. Uh, and if you need many um, uh, many objects uh, in array, we can make array of uh, object. This object, this uh, there is two object uh, is allocated um, as array, array here. Uh, this program is a program which draw a cyclone uh, by using sine and cosine values and uh, changing radius every time it looks like this uh, like this and there is only one cyclone in this case by making a class of cyclone and then you can make a array of four object of cyclone and then we can make four different cyclone with different uh, location and different uh, uh, velocity and uh, uh, radius then we can by using draw function here uh, we can move and uh, display okay here show example they look very different but their function is very same so you can, you can make a, a class for this different object uh, these are example what um, student made this one you can see the change of uh, uh, day of times and here this uh, Object rotating like this. 
and I think in this case this one and this one are two different objects of a class. This is another example. Here there are there are many moving uh, objects. It could be made by uh, four different classes and this uh, object of two uh, the same uh, same class and you have sunshine here also and this one is very uh, complicated one but it also uh, made by the concept I already told you so let's uh, enjoy programming and uh, I uh, hope you make uh, your own uh, game.